bought this car with 14,000 miles on it in December of 2020. And now we're in May of 2024. And now I have 24,000 miles. So I put 10,000 miles on it. It's like a 10,000 mile update. I've been very lucky with this car. Nothing major. I've had it, you know, do a few things like, you know, fuel filter, fuel pump. I did a few things, but uh, after I got a few things sorted out with this car, it's been very good, very reliable. It cruises really nice. The headlight covers, they stay down no matter how long the car sits. The most it's ever sat since I've had it was three weeks and they never start going up. So it has a very good vacuum. This is actually the same color combination as my father's first Lincoln. He, his first Lincoln was a 73 Continental Coupe, which had a different quarter window, you know, didn't have that opera window. And then, then his second Lincoln was a 76, which has a different grill. The 76 that he had was gold, and he had the same opera window that I have. And that car was gorgeous. And when my fa when I was a kid, my father got rid of that car. I missed it. So when I saw this, I, I figured I'd jump on it. I'm glad I did. So it's the same color combination as my father's first Lincoln, but same opera windows as my father's 76 Lincoln. He had the beige leather. I have the velour. Runs really good, been very, like I've said, reliable. It's got 24,000 miles on it. It's got the original radio. One of the neat features I always liked that I remember my father 76 had, I thought the split window was cool. And I remember this vanity mirror at the time was a big deal if you had this in your car. I'm gonna turn the lights on so the headlight doors will be up. Everything works in this car. See, the headlight doors are up. I keep the car nice and clean. The only thing I don't, I don't keep the engine detailed. When I bought the car, the engine was detailed, but I don't want to get anything electrically wet here, down here and something happened. So the engine is just not detailed, but Every light works. I drove it today on I-95. It got right up to speed, no problem. 